Ready to unlock your true potential and manifest the life of your dreams? Then I've got something super special just for you. Our mind-blowing self-love and manifestation courses. Picture this. A journey of self-discovery where you'll find a deep well of self-love and acceptance. Say goodbye to self-doubt and hello to unshakable confidence. Our courses are designed to help you embrace your worthiness and tap into the incredible power of self-love. But that's not all. We'll also dive deep into the transformative world of manifestation. You'll learn proven tools and techniques and strategies to align your thoughts beliefs, and actions with your wildest dreams. So get ready to create the success, happiness, love, and abundance that you deserve. So what are you waiting for? Head over to candywashington.com backslash courses to get started. Again, that's candywashington.com backslash courses. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington, and this is the Soft Life Podcast. So before we dive into today's episode, which is the one thing that will definitely kill your joy and stop your manifestation from coming to you, we are going to get into it. We're going to talk about it. But before we dive in, if you need additional support, be sure to grab our free self-love guide down below. Check out our courses. We have courses on manifesting love, money, abundance, also our Art of Self-Love Masterclass. Join our Patreon community for extra support and shop our Soft Girl merch and subscribe, like, and share. So with that, let's dive in. So one of the biggest killers of happiness, of joy, of peace, of acceptance, and one thing that will completely stop your manifestation is comparison. When you are constantly comparing yourself to other people or when you are constantly comparing yourself to some sort of societal or social idea, you will never be happy. You will never be joyful. You will never enjoy your life because it will never be enough. It will never be good enough. It will never be fast enough. It will just never be enough. So if you are on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or whatever, and you're comparing your life to somebody else's life, and then you're feeling bad about yourself, you're like, well, how come I don't look like that? How come I don't have that? Why is everything happening for this person and nothing happening for me? It kills you and it separates you from being present and being grateful for everything that you do have. And it separates you from the wisdom and the knowledge that your unique life is enough. You don't have to look like somebody else. You don't have to have what somebody else has. You don't have to go about your life on some pre-described social or societal or whatever you want to call it timeline. You have people who are depressed and anxious and unhappy and just really down on themselves because they don't have this type of job or this type of house or married by this age or a kid by this age, or they didn't do this or this, you know, 30 under 30, 20 under 20, 40 under 40, all this crazy stuff that's going on. And it makes them miss out from the joy of being present, from the power of appreciation and gratitude you know, from the, from the joy of being your authentic self, from knowing that you are the authority on you in your life and you get to decide what your life looks like and what your timeline is. And it separates you from, you know, the beauty of surrendering to maybe a more divine timeline, maybe a more divine way for you. If you are so focused on comparing yourself to other people, if you are so focused on controlling the when, where, the how, and the why, then you're missing out on what the divine has for you. Because I promise you the divine timeline is always right. The divine how is always right. The divine why is always right. And so we mess up our own manifestation. By manifestation, I mean like whatever it is that we are calling into our life. You know, you can't 
live in the end of being happy and appreciative that knowing that what you want is yours. If you are complaining and comparing yourself, well, this person manifested something in three days. This person manifests something overnight. Usually when people are like, you can get it in three days or you can get it overnight, those are, in my opinion, it's more clickbaity than anything else. Not really real. You know what I mean? Because each person's individual journey is unique and different. And the true reason that we're manifesting isn't just to, quote, get something quickly. It's to become a more empowered, higher version of ourselves. The version of ourselves that loves ourselves, that accept ourselves, that is the operant power in our reality. So we know that we get to choose when we get something, when we don't get something, and that our life, we can make it our own. You don't have to do what your sister did. You don't have to do what the person on TikTok did. You don't have to do what the media tells you you should do. You don't have to follow the path your father set out for you. You get to be the, th the authority on you. And when you get into that space of knowing that you are the authority of you, that you're worthy, that you're deserving, that your life is unique, that your path is your own, you stop comparing yourself to other people. And I don't mean it this way. Because this is also very toxic. You also get people like, oh, don't compare yourself to people on social media. They're probably broke. They're probably unhappy. They're probably faking it. You know, it's nothing but, you know, filters, this, that, and third. No, you don't have to be happy because, some, because you think somebody else is faking or because you think somebody else isn't happy. You know, that's also very toxic. Why is it that you can only feel good about yourself if you believe that somebody else isn't doing well? That's also very toxic. My position is whether the person on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or in your life or class member, coworker, whoever the person is that you're comparing yourself to, for me, it is my hope that they are happy, that they are doing well. But for me, whether they are or they aren't, it's my hope that they are, doesn't affect how I feel about myself. So if somebody else is happy and is doing well and succeeding, that doesn't mean I feel bad about myself. It doesn't mean that I'm not good enough. It doesn't mean that um, I should be where they're at or I should be doing what they're doing. It just means they're happy and they're thriving. It is not a reflection of my value and my worth. And if they're not doing well, I don't take that as, well, huh, they're not doing well, they're faking it, so I can feel better about myself because I think that they're now beneath me. That's also toxic and not cool and not okay. For me, if I feel somebody isn't doing well or they're not happy, I send them love. I send this person divine love. I send them divine happiness. I send them a blessing. Because the more I send love, the more I send blessings to other people, the more that love and blessings come back to me. So don't get caught up in this whole, the only way I get to feel good about myself is if I put somebody else down, if I, if I become a hater, basically, or, you know, you see what I'm saying? So comparing yourself and your life to anybody else's expectations of you or to anybody else's, you know, idea or picture of who they are will always keep you stuck. It would always keep you in resentment, in bitterness, in hater energy, and that will kill your joy. That will separate you from gratitude, and it will definitely stop your manifestation. You know, I, I, I don't think, and, I don't, and that doesn't mean that you have to be, quote, high vibe all the time. That's not what I'm saying either. You're allowed to be human. You're allowed to feel any type of way you want to feel. You know, you can have your days. You, you'll still get your manifestation. You'll still get what you want. That's different than comparing yourself, living in hater energy, being depressed and sad and putting out, you know, negativity. Those are two different things. I can have a bad day. I can feel off. I cannot feel good. You know, I can react. I can be human. And that's not going to stop my manifestation. But if I am in the energy, if I am the consciousness of being a hater, if I am in the energy and being in the conscious of I'm not good enough because I'm comparing myself to everybody else, if I am in the energy and if I am in the consciousness of I have to live this cookie cutter life, not the life that I authentically want, then yeah, that 
will keep you from calling in what you ultimately want because who you are being is not an energetic match for what you want to call in. So if you want to really tap into the joy of life, if you really want to tap into the power of being your authentic self, if you really want to tap into the power of knowing that you are the authority on you in your life, if you really want to call in your manifestations quickly and easily, the first thing you have to do is really get clear on letting go of judgment, criticism, and comparison of yourself and of others, because that is killing your joy. And then whatever you do accomplish, whatever you do manifest, you're going to be comparing it to someone or something else. And you're not even going to be present enough to enjoy what you got. It's like when people get married. Or no, it's like when people start dating. Oh, when are you going to get engaged? They get engaged. Oh, when are you going to get married? They get married. Oh, when are you going to start having kids? They have kids. Oh, when are you going to buy a house? They have a house. When you get, it's like always like, well, when is this? When is this? When is this? Stop. Why be focused in the present moment and be happy for what you have and shut out the outside noise? Create a practice of letting go of hater energy, comparison, judgment, and criticism of yourself and others, because that is the first way to kill your joy. And that is the quickest way to stop your manifestation from coming to you. So if you need additional help on that, we have our free self-love guide down below. We have our courses on self-love, manifesting romantic love, money and abundance and everything else. Join our Patreon community for extra support and also shop our soft girl, our soft girl merch down below. Subscribe, like, and share. And it is my hope that this episode really helped you and cleared up some stuff. I know it does for me. So with that, you guys, I love you and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Ready to unlock your true potential and manifest the life of your dreams? Then I've got something super special just for you. Our mind-blowing self-love and manifestation courses. Picture this, a journey of self-discovery where you'll find a deep well of self-love and acceptance. Say goodbye to self-doubt and hello to unshakable confidence. Our courses are designed to help you embrace your worthiness and tap into the incredible power of self-love. But that's not all. We'll also dive deep into the transformative world of manifestation. You'll learn proven tools and techniques and strategies to align your thoughts, beliefs, and actions with your wildest dreams. So get ready to create the success, happiness, love, and abundance that you deserve. So what are you waiting for? Head over to candywashington.com backslash courses to get started. Again, that's candywashington.com backslash courses.